Ladies and gentlemen, this is a lightweight bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. In the red corner, representing Fight Ministry Humberston, let's hear it for Carl Dean. And his opponent face across the cage in the blue corner, representing Jim Q01. Put your hands together for Charlie Hatton. This contest is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. The referee, Simon Stadisky. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the fighters are locked in for a three rounds of this amateur lightweight contest. In the red corner is Carl Dean representing Fight Ministry Homberston. Standing opposite him in the blue corner is Charlie Hatton representing Jim O1. We have Carl Dean in the black shorts with red trim, Charlie Hatton in the yellow shorts. We do, and a lovely thing there just before this started. There was like a mutual nod of respect, and they both just said, Let's go, this could be fireworks. Nice low kick there from Carl Dean. In the Muay Thai shorts, wonder if that's going to be a giveaway as to his style, although he switches into a karate stance briefly there. Nice low kick again. Carl Dean, of course, it's his third amateur fight, third one on all my EFC fans. Recognise the familiar face for Hatton, stable mate of tonight's main event, Elliot Hoy, who will take on Saj Hack. Really impressive submission victories last year for Charlie Hatton, won by armbar in shock and awe and rear naked choke at AFC 20. Let's see if he looks to try and work his ground game here tonight. Although well, seeming fairly comfortable to just stand for now. Eats another leg kick though from Carl Dean. Dean fires those kicks out like nothing, very quick. Lovely takedown attempt though, he's got his hands clasped. Dean does a good job of breaking it, framing nicely on the fence. Excellent work, I like how he's using the overhook with the frame in order to turn Charlie Hatton. That's very good cage wrestling on display there from Carl Dean. Carl Dean looks very, very comfortable in this strike department. And like you mentioned before, all of Charlie Hatton's victories come by way of submission. He knows what he's in for here against Hatton. And look at that left lead leg of Charlie Hatton already. Looking like it's been smacked a few times with a bat. Very, very red. Dean's almost cutting down into the kick as well, which just adds even more ferocity to it. He's really planting that lead leg when he's throwing it. He's really chopping it into the leg of Hatton. Does a good job using that underhook on the left-hand side to pull Charlie Hatton up his body, almost like he's pulling up his trousers. Again, using that underhook very nicely. I'd like to see him use his right hand instead of trying to control the hip of Charlie Hatton, instead to try and frame across the face and then use that to turn him like he did in their first grappling exchange on the fence. Because right now he's giving Charlie Hatton the opportunity to, to take him down. Simon Sadnisky really on it with that cage grab there. He's not going to let that fly for too long. No, Dean acknowledged that as well, that he shouldn't have done it. I think one more of them, you could see a point off as well. That was a very oh, clear yeah. one, which I do believe has stopped that takedown. Simon is no nonsense. World-class kickboxer in his own right. Holds these young men accountable. In nice knees here from Charlie Hatton. Another low kick lands low for... A Carl Dean, those are going to be a real investment for him as this fight goes on. They certainly are. I like that as well, mixing it up there. Through the leg kick, through the leg kick, through the leg kick, through a nice big right hand over the top. And I mean, just look at the state of Charlie Hatton's It's one of the most beat-up lead legs I've seen in, in, round, in round one of an amateur contest. He's hit it that much, there's two separate welts on yeah. that part of the leg. And, and as we say, it's a really good investment for later on in the fight. Not only is it going to really slow down the movement of Charlie Hatton, but also he's going to be constantly feeling it and constantly worried about that leg kick. So now it's going to allow Carl Dean the opportunity to maybe go high. Exactly, and that's just what we've seen him with that overhand, right? He just he almost Adesanya-esque faked that hip yeah. throw and then just threw that right hand over the top. It's that little twitch with the hip that once you've attacked that leg enough, you can get people to bite massively on. You certainly can very impressive round there for Carl Dean and I think he probably won that round based on the leg kicks alone absolutely but we are here for our second round Charlie Hatton's still very much in this one as we say submission specialist we haven't gotten to see him on the ground quite yet but potentially he can wear on Carl Dean as this fight goes on staring each other out here both men 
ice cold for Al Hatton. Both of these gentlemen, very intense. Charlie Hatton trying to land some leg kicks of his own now. Goes inside. Doubled up on the jab to try and land the right hand, but no dice. Taking a take down there. Nice right hand there from Dean. Hatton's doing a nice job here, mixing up strikes. Unorthodox strikes as well, so Dean's struggling to get a read on them. Absolutely. Although you'll notice, as, as we see on the, the screen here, Hatton is following yes. Carl Dean around. He's not cutting off the cage, he's just following him around, and that's giving Carl Dean all the space he needs to get these leg kicks, because he's just moving backwards, and then Hatton, as we see there it, again, Hatton yes. follows him. He's not cutting off the cage, he needs to take a hard Huge step. Huge right hand, though! That's why if he wants to be able to get that power down, he's got to start cutting off the cage. Because as we just saw there, he can land. Shoot. He's got the hands clasped. And he gets the takedown to a pop from his fans who know exactly Lace what Charlie Hatton's all about. Laces up the legs of Carl Dean nicely there as well. He's going to be able to slide up the body of Carl Dean into mount. He's going to take the back. Has a hook. This is where we've seen Charlie Hatton shine. Both hooks in now. Two big victories for him by a submission last year, and this one looks tight. He's got his hands clasped palm to palm, and, he and he's got the tap. Wow, what a performance from Charlie Hatton. A fight which he definitively lost the first round, but comes back now and gets a submission. That is going to be his third straight submission victory. Three wins, three, big, uh, three submissions, and I mean, totally, totally turning the tides in that one there. Definitely, he identified the issue, didn't he? He figured out that he wasn't necessarily going to be getting this one on the feet and that the longer he stood on the feet, the more that lead leg was going to get beat up. So he decided just to give 110%, get his man to the mat and try and finish it there, which he did. That's a big win as well, not only for Charlie, but for the gym, of course. We've got the main event coming up tonight. Elliot Hoyle being here somewhere. He's just seen his stablemate take a very, very good victory. Morale will be high when he's warming up and everything. Could potentially be massive. Our sponsors for this fight. Sponsor right, Eric's Fightwear, DN4 Photography, Volcarite, Fresh and Lean, Media Partners, MMA Reloaded, Combat Sports UK and MMA TV. As you mentioned, our referee for that fight was Simon Stadniski. Ladies and gentlemen, no judges needed for this one. Warriors. We hand this one over to Wayne Groves. We've got your winner. By way of rear naked choke and a tap out after one minute, 23 seconds around number two. Declaring your winner in the blue corner, Charlie Hatton. And let's hear it for our runner, Carl Dean.